What's up, everyone? Welcome to Power and Play with CJ. Today we're going to talk about the Tampa Bay Lightning firing Guy Boucher or, you know, relieving him of his duties. You know, they're 13, 7, and 1, 14th in the East. Five, only five points out of the playoff spot, though, after losing yesterday to Ottawa. And uh, as, as many of you know, I picked Guy to be my uh, coach of the year, Jack Adams recipient. Uh, so I've got egg on my face, and I, I made a tweet yesterday. Uh, I mean, you saw, I said, uh, Sud has got like 22 points through 20 games in Minnesota, and I said, who's the asshole? It said Sud was going to fizzle in Minnesota. So, I, I mean, I've got egg on my face a lot this week, but back to more serious matters. You know, they've got 27 points through 31 games. 32 points is what gets you in the, is what gets you in the top. Hey, Jesus, mm -hmm. Winnipeg's first in the Southeast Division. Did not see that coming. Um, but, you know, I'm not, it's too late to write a requiem for the season. They're... Sunshine State neighbors in Florida. I would write a record for the season on uh, the Panthers, but um, you know I think they can still make a run. Um, the two leading coaching candidates, according to NHL.com, are Lindy Ruff and uh, John Cooper, who's their AHL Syracuse credit affiliate. He won the Calder Cup last year with their AHL affiliate when it was in Norfolk, the uh, Admirals. So he, uh, you know, there's some experience there, and uh, you know I'd love to see them bring deep. Um, Lindy Ruff, excuse me. Uh, I'd stop watching Guy leave. Uh, you know, it's a necessity. I've never been a fan of firing the coach. Um, I think, you know, you've got to hold the guys in the locker room more accountable. There's 23 players and only one coach. I mean, the coach is the easiest one to get rid of. Um, you know, I mean, the Lightning, are, you know, last year was a disaster for them. They had, a, you know, Boucher's first year in the league. They go to conference finals, go to game seven, lose to the Bruins. And then, you know, last year the goaltending was awful, and this year it's been a number of different factors. I mean, they got off to a really hot start, and now find themselves four games out of 500. I mean, how does that you know, how does that equate? And, uh, you know, I think the Lightning got to look at themselves in the mirror and, you know, have a gut check. You know, what did we do to get him fired? And uh, I think for their next coach, they've got to come out. You know, they've got to start, you know, winning games, bottom line. It's kind of the Brooklyn Nets where... They fired uh, Avery Johnson at the beginning of the season, and they started playing well under P.J. Carlissimo. They were the same team. They were just playing harder for him. They are using the same schemes offensively and defensively. But, you know, I hope that's not the case with Boucher. I hope it was just, you know, maybe a system error. And I, I really hope he gets a chance somewhere else. I like him as a coach. I think he's a very um, cerebral guy. I think he knows his stuff. He's a great hockey mind, a great, you know, great leader of men, to quote Stephen A. Smith. But, uh, you know, it's tough to see him go. And, uh, like I said, I think Lindy Ruff would be the best fit for this outfit. I think he can whip them into shape and uh, get them back on the right track. And there's still time. There's still, you know, 17 games left in the season to sneak in that eighth spot. And, like I said, Carolina and Winnipeg are ahead in Washington. Washington's a you know, paper tiger. Uh, they've been playing better as of late, but I, I wouldn't put any faith in that team. So hopefully they can uh, turn around. Anyway, that's all this episode of the Power Play with CJ on the Tampa Bay Lightning. Fire, relieving Guy Boucher of his coaching duties. Stay tuned for episodes of the season and beyond. Later, guys.